My intuition is telling me there'll be better days. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Natalie and this is my channel, Music to Makeup. If you are returning me, returning to my channel, what's up fam? Um, good to see you again. Thanks for joining me. So today's video is going to be like my all-time favorite bronzers. So I'm going to go from least to most favorite. I mean, they're all favorites. So it's just a countdown to my all-time favorite. So, um, <laughs> you will really benefit from this video if you are as pale as I am. I definitely need bronzer, it's no one's joke. Like, I, <laughs> when I am going to work, like I always do everything except for like my bronzer and highlight and blush, I do that in the car. And then my mom was like, why do you look so pale? I'm like, I have not put any artificial sun on myself yet, thank you very much. But because I am so pale, it's really hard for me to find a good bronzer that like isn't too warm toned so I don't look like an Oompa Loompa and yeah, there's a very like delicate balance. <laughs> there's a chemistry to it. <laughs> Y'all don't even know. But yeah, if you are interested in seeing my favorite bronzers, then keep on watching. And if you do like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and join my family before you leave. All right, let's get into it. So I have seven all together. So start real quick before we start. How adorable. Oh, I mean, how adorable. Oh my gosh. This is, it's a new like technique I tried. This is my, if you didn't know, this is my makeup brush cleaner slash soap slash like so many uses for it, but yeah, and it's grapefruit scented. I love grapefruit. I thought it was like very appropriate. Like the pink is the grapefruit and then like the gold glitter is like the sugar on top. I know, I'm weird, don't mind me. But okay, so num my number seven favorite bronzer is, this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting and Bronzer, Luminous Bronze Light Bronzer. Now, this is such a gorgeous bronzer. And if you are someone who is darker in complexion than I am, like you, this could very well be like your number one like favorite bronzer. The reason I have it at number seven is because it is just, it can go on a little too dark. I have to be very light handed when I apply it. And it does work better like if, I was gonna say like when I have a tan, but I'm not, who am I kidding? Like I never have a tan. I'm a vampire, legit. I work 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. I'm a vampire. So, but yeah, I just have to go on very light handed with it, but it's, it's so gorgeous. Oh, and it's, it's stunning. It's like a luminous bronzer, just like it says. Okay, number six is actually a blush that I've been wearing quite a lot recently. I've been kicking it back old school. This is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer. I really like this bronzer. I think it's just like the perfect tone. It does have a little bit of like sheen to it, but I don't mind that at all. Um, well, you can see how much lighter it is than the Hourglass bronzer, but I still really like it for everyday use. I think it's just like the perfect color for me. So number five is, this is the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Instant Warmth Bronze Bronzer in Inda Sun. So this is a really beautiful, like neutral toned blush for us, for us very, very fair people. And I love that, you know, it's a neutral tone, doesn't have like any warmth in it. It's pretty light, but it's also very buildable. I'm trying to build it. It's just a lot lighter than the first two for sure. But it can, like I said, it can be built up. All right, coming in at number four is the Benefit Hula Light. 
So this is definitely another like neutral toned bronzer that is very, very light. I love the Hoola original too, and I probably would have included it in this video, but I couldn't find it. So I really do like that one too. So if you're darker, definitely check that one out. Wow, yeah, that's really light, but it's great. It's like I can never have to worry about like going too heavy in with it, and it just gives a really pretty bronze. Okay, number three. Oh, I love this bronzer so much. Like, it's nobody's business. It's crazy. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and this is in white bronzer. And just FYI, they have come out with like darker shades. I actually got a darker shade. This is uh, Muru Muru Butter Bronzer, but it's a little bit too dark for me. So I love how this smells. It smells like coconut and vanilla, and it is like so buttery, just like the name says. And to top it off, the shade is like perfect for me. I use this so much. Okay, number two oh, is a bronzer I have been using for a minute now and I still love it to this day. It's one of my all-time favorite bronzers. I actually need to get a new one, but this is the Too Faced bronzed and poreless pore perfecting bronzer and i i really like the chocolate soleil bronzer this is a tiny bit lighter i just adore this bronzer so much so it is right there so coming in at number one my number one favorite bronzer is this is the siate london um, what is it called now? Um, Bamboo Bronzer in Palm Island. They do have a darker shade as well. And I remember, like, I had been wanting this for so long, and it was always sold out on the Sephora website. But it finally came in stock, and I just love this. I had originally got a sample in Ipsy, and that's how I found out about it, and I, like, immediately fell in love with it. Ugh. It is just like the perfect bronzer. I love it so much. It's like pigmented, but it's like it, it can't really go overboard with it. It blends out beautifully. So those are my top seven favorite bronzers. Let me know what some of your favorite bronzers are down in the comments below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Bye.